What is up you guys? In today's video, I'm gonna be installing a front and rear dash cam in my Toyota Tacoma. Let's get right to it. All right, so for me, there's many times where, you know, I've been driving and I always wish that I had, you know, a dash cam. Nothing really happened to me before. I'm not gonna wait till something does happen. But there's always been a time where someone's got too close, you know, something's got a little too risky and I just wish I had a dash cam. But now this one's for the front and for the rear and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to install it. And it only takes about 20 to 30 minutes and it's a super clean install. And this camera is actually super high quality as you guys will see later in the video. So here it is, the A139. So this is a triple channel dash cam. So it has obviously the exterior one. It has one with the interior with infrared lights and it has a rear one. So for me, I really wanted a dash cam that also had something for the rear because if you got stuff in the back or, you know, you just, you know, anything that can happen, I really just wanted the one for the rear just to be double safe. And, you know, this is something that I really wanted. So let's go ahead and check this out. So you can't actually order a separate wiring cable where it wires straight to your fuse and when you turn off the truck it can still be recording for you. So that's an option you guys have but because this is kind of simple for me and I never use you know my um, my car charger right here I'm just going to use this and I'm just going to cleanly wire it all around. So there's that and then this is the wire for the front dash cam uh, the interior one I don't know if I'm going to be installing that one today. And then here's how it looks. So I think this one, let's see which one this is. So this is the interior dash cam. It's pretty small. And this has the infrared lights right here. And then the other one looks the same as well. All right, so here's the actual camera. This is the one that you know shows the front. This is the actual dash cam right here. And all you do is you take off this little mount piece, this little you know sticker right here, and then you mount it right on. So this, you can actually move it around to however you want. Uh, you can't rotate it 360 degrees which you don't need to but you're going to be able to rotate it as much as you want to you know get it comfortably and this also does come with an app where you guys can actually download it on your phone and you can see live footage on your phone so i'm going to put in the sd card and then figure out the placement for it but here's the front side so power record we're going to figure out what this stuff is but pretty sure this is uh, you know obviously the mic and all the lights for it right here as well for placement wise, I am going to be putting it right here. This is what I decided. So if I just glue it, you know, right here, it's going to so form right behind my mirror. And you can't basically even take see the shape of this. run the cable and right up here yes, and through the actual angle. side. So I think it's the perfect placement for it. I'm going to go ahead and secure it in place and then start wiring it. To the power right in here and I'm going to run it all the way through. So I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to do that and I'll make it look real clean. Alright, so the wiring is done. So I bought it from there. I put it here and I put it around under here, tucked it here, all the way around the edges. The only place you can really see it is kind of right here. You can't even really see that. So let's go back, put it all the way down through here, tucked it in. You can't see it at all down here. You know, just put it around this little flap, put it through the actual wiring. There's a spot where it hides right under there. And this is the only spot you really kind of see it. The rest is tucked back here and it comes right here. So I still gave it a little room where I can still unplug it and put it back in. But that's all I wanted. And this right here is just pinch. So it's not even tucked. This doesn't tuck right here. This is just a pinch. So you can have it. You can even move it if you want. All right. So this is how it looks from the outside. 
can barely even notice a difference because anyways that's where my mirror is sorry let me try and get the sun for you guys but you can barely even tell because this is exactly where the mirror is anyways and that's where the normal camera is so the work that i do i think it's going to be really helpful to have this camera because this will be able to see anything in the bed and obviously past that you know if anyone's stealing anything and i have a lot of you know expensive equipment in there so this is going to come real handy and all you do is you can twist this to the position you want and then so i'm going to have it obviously on the inside so i'm going to go like this and just glue it on and then i'll be able to position it later as well all right so coming in here this window opens that way so i'm probably just going to put it you know somewhere here somewhere in the middle i'm going to figure out the positioning and then i'm also just going to run this cable all the way through the line uh, obviously in the plastic frame and then right to the other camera in front all right so right now i got it running through right here this is the only spot you can really see it coming right through down here and then on the inside of the seatbelt i put it right here it's coming right under here and uh, obviously out here so i'm going to just run it all the way across do the same thing i did on the other side and run it up the frame from the driver's side and then just plug it right in through the driver top side of the windshield and then when i close this right here you can't even really see it because it's sitting low, low enough to where it's at like lower than the level of the seat. And then the wire goes obviously all the way behind everything. So it's gonna be a perfect install. You're not gonna be seeing any wires or anything like that. All right, so now I'm at the point where I ran it through all the way here and I didn't put it all the way in right here because I wanted to plug it in first here, run it across, run it across obviously and hide it first. So if I have any extra cable, which I'm obviously gonna, I'm able to run it and hide it under here instead of, you know, running it all the way through and then realizing that I have extra cable and trying to hide it under there, which is not going to look great. So run it through there and then meet it in the middle and hide the extra cable. So once installed, you want to go ahead and download the app. And right here, you can actually stop and, you know, uh, save the videos to your actual phone when you go to all files. And this actually has so many settings and different things you can set it to. You know, like the resolution, the date stamp, you know, there's even a parking mode. And what I did is I actually turned on rear image flipping. So I put the camera on in the back, apparently flipped, but it was no problem at all. You know, this app is actually super helpful and it even gives you GPS coordinates and miles per hour, as you guys will see in the actual quality of it right now. But if you want to download a video, all you got to do is go to all files, click the ones you want, and it'll download right to your phone. Okay, so here's obviously the front camera. There's a little bit, you know, of that black on the right side. That's the way I positioned it. Personally, I'm okay with that just because I'm willing to sacrifice, you know, that little notch because of how hidden it is to me, you know, when I see it. But this is now the rear. You can see the bottom left. It says, you know, miles per hour and then the GPS coordinates. And then in the middle, this is the camera name. And on the right is the date and then also time stamped. So you guys can see how high quality this is, not only the front camera, but the rear camera as well. And you can position them any way you like, but I found this one was good. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the install and the review of this dash cam. This will be in the link in my description below. You guys can go and grab it. There will be a discount code as well, so you guys can get that percentage off. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you can please help me out by giving me a like and a subscribe, I really appreciate it. Thank you and have a great day.